Happy Friday, everybody. How's it going? <clears throat> I'm uh, stream a little more of Subnautica here. Um, uh, probably not too long, but I did want to sneak a stream in here for lunchtime. How's everybody doing? Uh, let's see. Hopefully this save worked. <laughs> I don't have to restart the game. Okay, there we go. Forget what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I know Caesar. I was like, hmm. Uh, I believe it's time to just use the sea truck to locate new blueprints. I need to continue to be shown the blueprints. I guess I'll get some more food and water before I go do that. Probably stand to make some more batteries too, so I don't have to keep coming back to this zone. Oh, I'm a little sleepy this morning, this afternoon. Oh boy. However, uh, the anniversary gift that I got for Janelle might arrive while the stream is going, in which case maybe I'll give it to her while the stream is still active. Let's see. Um, fish? Oh, I did, Anne. That's a good point. Thank you for reminding me that, uh, rem reminding me of that. Um, I need to see what that's gonna take, though. Let's see. Uh, battery charger. So, oh, not uh, demanding at all. It is Caesar. Yeah. Yeah. In about mm, an hour and a half, I'm gonna drive into San Francisco to pick up our anniversary night cocktails from our favorite bar. Hey, Bill. How are you? Happy Friday to all. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna make that battery charger, make a few more batteries, need some more water. More water before I uh, venture out too far. Oxygen. Also oxygen. <laughs> Oh, I have such a big tank now. It's going to be, uh, I have to make sure I don't, um, forget about the fact that I have an oxygen limit at this point. I'm a little sleepy, so the chances of me just blowing this permadeath run are probably higher than they normally would be. It's going to be a harrowing stream. Um, uh, let's see. I think I just want a few more waterfish. By the way, if anybody's watching on like the high quality version of the stream, I'm curious how it looks. I guess I should just watch a VOD <laughs> for a second and see how it looks. This new higher bitrate, I'm curious if it's showing up. It feels like this game has enough motion going on that it would be apparent. Oh boy, it's really getting windy outside. I'm going to be driving through some interesting weather. Okay, so let's see here. Iron Kid Copper Wire. Um, battery charger. 
if I make something that's that big of a deal? Oh, we need the habitat thing. Uh, how do I make the habitat gun? <laughs> Computer chip, okay. Um, table coral, my favorite thing to go find. Wonderful. Oh, thanks, Bobby. Appreciate your confirmation of that. All right. Hope you are doing well. Um, okay, table coral. Oh, boy. Love it. Hmm, okay, yeah, yeah. It may be more, even more apparent for things like Apex or, you know, Games that have like a lot of motion going on, but I have to truly test that when uh, I get the new graphics card. <laughs> hey, Chetna. Mm. Yeah, I've been trying to stream more uh, around lunchtime when it's just a thing that I feel like streaming. Because um, it does feel like a good sweet spot for uh, Europe. Although I think Americans are... Americans and Canadians are kind of just busy working still at this point. But... Um... Oh boy. Oh. Let's just back off of that. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Backing off of the one, running into the other. Ooh. Oh, I really hope that Janelle's gift gets here. I think you would actually appreciate it too, Shedna. Uh Okay, are you doing a simultaneous stream local record? I wonder if that would have any impact on performance. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not doing the simultaneous thing on this stream. Uh, I will attempt it um, soon, though. But uh, I don't have like a massive um, New blueprint synthesized. solid state drive to use for that, so I don't know if, if that's going to be a problem. New blueprint synthesized. <laughs> I guess it did look like a platypus. Didn't they recently confirm that the Spinosaur, the big dinosaur from uh, Jurassic Park 3, I think? Didn't they confirm that that thing was just like a water animal? They thought it was uh, just like a big T-Rex, but now, they, now they're pretty sure it was just uh, like the largest crocodile ever, which is even more terrifying. There's like concept art of this thing just like swimming around and it's just like, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was indeed uh, breaking news for the dinosaur world. Um, anytime that like a, a dinosaur that's been depicted in a movie, uh, they have to like redefine what it actually did. It's like it's it's always funny to me. Yeah, wait, why did I pick that up? I don't want to do that. Well. Interesting. So I, I'm still getting sea truck fragments, but they're not going to give me the sea truck expansion stuff. So I guess I'm going to have to find things that are not named sea truck fragments. Make my train, my sea Mineral truck train. Detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Uh oh, <laughs> stuck. Ah. Okay. Um, I don't think that's necessarily true, Cord. I believe Jurassic Park 3 had uh, feathered raptors. For whatever reason, they ditched that for Jurassic World. Um, you could be wrong about that, too. But I feel like the Jurassic Park 3 raptors were definitely uh, adjusted for that science, otherwise at least. Um, ah, there's significant controversy. 
I mean, it does kind of look like an underwater creature, but then again, it's got that sail on its back is kind of... I don't know. The Nick Breckens are still out on this, I think. Hmm. Okay, so Caesar's copy-paste. Yeah, I mean, maybe it just, like, spent half of its time in the water and half of its time not, right? The sail's just there to soak up heat, which is usually Warning. what those sails were postulated to, uh, to do. So it just, like, gets cold in the river and then just, like, beaches itself and warms up? I think that sounds correct. Do kids still think dinosaurs are cool? Or, like, are there just too many things now? <laughs> Does anybody know any kids? <laughs> Do they still think dinosaurs are cool? I guess Jurassic World is still a thing. And like, there is that Jurassic World like cartoon on Netflix I just saw. Oh boy. Mmm, concentration of teeth. <laughs> A gross phrase, but seems to uh, make sense. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if I was a kid, my exposure to dinosaurs would be like when Minecraft has a Jurassic Park pack, <laughs> you know? like. I'd just be like, oh, okay, I guess there are new monsters in Minecraft. <laughs> oh, that's good, Cord. Wow, checking books out in the library, though, that sounds very 2012. I don't know that uh, that would still happen. <laughs> Oh no, try to... I had, um... We had these, uh, we had like an... I don't know, this is a very, like, Midwest thing, but, um... If I, if I say that we lived on a court... <laughs> does anybody know what that means? It's basically a street that ends in a circle drive. Um, and the inner part of the donut hole of the circle drive... Yeah, a cul-de-sac. Um, the inner part of that circle drive had like a little, I don't know, like a little garden with um, uh, sort of like a, a stone moat. So like there were these, uh, <laughs> it was just like this section of, of rocks around the garden. and the ro But the rocks were like big. They were like the size of a potato, like a big potato. Um, and uh, I just spent a lot of time like trudging around in that Port in that uh, in that little garden island, and um, I used to take I took this like one of the stones that really to me as a kid, as a very young kid looked like a dinosaur egg, and I was trying to like chip away at it like a paleontologist like I'd seen in the documentaries with like Robert Bakker, uh, and so I had like my dad's chisel, and for like the longest time I thought like I'm gonna crack this open. There's gonna be like a dinosaur fossil in here. Like this is gonna be great. Um, I never managed to crack it open. Mm. I probably ruined a lot of my dad's tools, if we're being honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, copper wire. I have not seen that, Jenna. Well, that makes sense, Bobby, though, because uh, geodes were a big thing in the 90s, so I feel like you were probably just trying to make a buck uh, selling your, your wares to Sharper Image or something. And now they're going to be in Minecraft, so there you go. Everything comes full circle. Um, let's see. With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. 
advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module, no fun. Oh, they're not going to let me use this. Okay. Well, I guess we have to build a base then, huh? Uh, well, that's fun. Huh, all right. Um... I have no sea truck components, so we found a pond teeming with tadpoles, so we bottled them up and tried to raise frogs in our backyard. Turns out they were actually mosquito. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, Anne! Oh man! Oh, that's terrible. That's really funny, though. Oh man, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's also very good, Bobby. Oh man. Yeah, I'm I have probably got a thousand stories along these lines if I really sat down and thought about it. I guess I'll just make a base. Uh, I don't really know where to make it though. I feel like this game is probably encouraging me to make it um, on land, really, because it's so cold on land. It's like it feels like that's uh, the most beneficial thing to do. But um, I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll start underwater first. I caught this tiny frog and kept it in my hands. This lady was walking down the street and I stopped her and asked her why she said and I offered her a frog. <laughs> oh. I think I've told the story of Charlie. Charlie the uh, crab before. I won't repeat it. But um, that's kind of my version of this. Right, so this is an emergency supply. Hmm, yeah, I don't know where to put my base. The problem is I can only go down to 150 right now. So... Wow, spinning. Uh, yeah, I, I really didn't like creatures as a kid. Or now, if I'm being honest. Uh, I don't... Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of uh, bugs. Um, I remember the one time my buddy found two um, crayfish, crawfish, crawfish in the south, crayfish in the north. Anyway, uh, it was he put them in a jar and made them fight, and it was like horrific to me. I couldn't deal with it. Um, oh, I don't think I want to put it in the jellyfish zone. Hmm. Yeah, and then around the side of the jellyfish zone is the end of everything. I think they're all interchangeable, Bobby, but I'm not sure. Actually, I think one is bigger than the other. I think... Well, certainly these were not that big. 
they were just in a in a creek in our backyard in Michigan. So. But. Uh, Mm, okay, yeah, good point. I could put it on land, just like... I mean, honestly, in a lot of cases, like, the surface is prettier than the underwater in this in this one. <laughs> I could put it on this little uh, floating island section here. I wonder if it'll even let me. Let me see. Like, what about over here? Uh. Hmm. Oh. Wait, what? Why is it so far away? Calorie intake recommended. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know why this is like. Hmm. I don't know why this is so far away and it's just not going to work either. Um, hmm. Oh god, what? It stole my thing! Oh, you jerk. <laughs> Weird uh, detail. Okay. Um, they're like the uh, Spelunky Monkeys. Oh wait, you really can't build on the surface? What oh, bummer. What about like over here though? Because this feels like it's part of like the actual land. Okay, so just not on those um, on those things. All right. Um. That seems like kind of a cool spot. That might still be considered a... Oh, it works! Okay. Which is, I guess, can you build on an angle? Probably not, so... It's gonna be a little... a little strange. The tool, the tool really does not like this either. Hmm. No. I'm worried I'm gonna build like a, a section like this, and then three more sections down the line, it's gonna like just hit a wall, and I won't be able to do anything with it. Um. Yeah, that's the problem. Default. Well. I need some just like flat territory. This might work. This might work. I guess the question is, can I... Uh... Hmm. Can I even like get in easily? Yeah, this seems like more of a pain than it's worth. Oh, okay, Aeon, all right. It adds stairs, good to know. Now here's the question, is there any way that I could create some kind of, like, I know there's the um, the vehicle bay that dumps out into water in the original. I wonder if, um, I wonder if I could create that over like this section and then that would lead into the base, you know? Um. Oh god, this tool is like really kind of a mess. Uh. Ouch. Maybe this is just a bad spot. Maybe I need to find a better spot.
Yeah, I'll do a land base, but I think I think I'll actually start with a with a sea base because it seems like it's just sort of a pain. Uh, maybe if I go straight down here, there'll be some territory for this. And we're not too far from the. Uh, Pod. And these fish just dive bombing me. What other dumb things I did as a kid? The answer, so many. Uh. Ooh, what's this cave? Seems promising. Oh, interesting. This is a laser cutter situation? Do I have the laser cutter? I don't. Darn. Yeah, Court, it's supposed to rain here uh, right as I have to drive downtown, so. Not actually very excited about it, but. <laughs> you signed your mom's car with a nail. I definitely backed my mom's car out of the driveway as a four-year-old. Uh, she had to like run after me and make sure that the car didn't run into a tree. Um, that was fun. Oh, weird, Anne. Okay, I'd have expected that. Uh, I was on the floor of the car, Aeon, so I just kind of <laughs> popped the uh, emergency brake and off we went. Thank you. Well, thanks, Basic Gamer. How are you doing? Yeah, I don't know that I destroyed much if anything, as a kid. I'm trying to think. I broke a glass once and I felt really bad about that. It was like a sitcom episode because it was the time where I learned to just like admit when you did something wrong. <laughs> My parents were like, listen, we're not mad. Just like tell us that you broke the glass so we can replace it. I don't think I really destroyed anything else though. I lit our uh, kitchen on fire, but that was when I was like, you know, 18. So, <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I mean, I guess it does. <laughs> That's a cool, uh, whoa. See what's up here. Oh wait, this is the uh, opening. This is the uh, where the game starts. Is this climbable? No. It's weird. I mean, I guess you know what you know what's funny is I haven't yet gone like in this direction away from the island. I guess I should try that. 
It's so funny because this island is here. I've just been kind of skimming the edge of it, but it's never occurred to me to just go away from it. I guess I should try that. This is literally probably like hour 10 of me playing this game, and I still have yet to go in this direction. It just feels strange. Table coral. building my base where there are monsters though. Not because it's scary, but because it's just like loud. <laughs> they're just, they're so growly. Uh, noisy neighbors. Ooh, what's that thing? That looks like... Warning, 100 meters. Oxygen Ooh. efficiency decreased. Wait, is this just another... Oh. Huh. Finding any new components. Thermal. I think I have the uh, geothermal um, reactor unlocked, right? Let's see. Oh, no, I have the bioreactor. Darn. Oh, I have the uh, depth upgrade though. Oh, I need ruby and enameled glass and... Oh, wait, no, this one... Glass steel, okay. Which is... what now? Titanium and lithium, okay, so I need to find lithium. Definitely feeling spookier out here. How far away are we? 100 meters? Okay. Let's see, are these the ones that would have like lithium and stuff? Or is this still just titanium? No, it's still titanium, okay. Oh, anybody doing anything cool this weekend, such as it is? Um, Warning, maximum depth reached, hull damage imminent. Ooh. I just had a really good Cubano sandwich delivered. That made me very happy. Oh, congrats, Lade. Long time coming. Oh, wow, okay, so this is extreme jellyfish zone. Uh, is this the same? This can't be the same jellyfish zone. This is just a different one. Or is it? Am I just like... Oh, wait, no, this is... Where the hell am I? <laughs> I thought I was going in the, wrong, in the opposite direction, but now I'm next to the island, I guess? Hmm. How did I end up here? Oh. Okay. Well, I really, I really want to go this way then. I guess. I'm arranging my home office to make room for a new computer, new work equipment. I was thinking about doing that too, Bobby. I was thinking about, well, see now, Affable's got me all messed up because Affable was suggesting that I 
change my whole stream layout, and I think it makes a little sense, which means that I'm starting to consider moving my room around so that I wouldn't have to use a green screen. Uh, which would be nice to not have to use this thing, um, but it would require a whole, whole shifting of everything. Warning. Maximum depth Ooh. reached. Hull damage imminent. Well, I mean, you know, look on the bright side, uh, PM. Sunday at 4 o'clock, uh, it definitely will not be boring because the most action packed film uh, ever put to screen is, um, is going to uh, be airing on the Discord Film Club. Oh shit. <laughs> I really am bad at avoiding this island. Okay, let's go this way then. Straight ahead. Straight at him. afraid I'm gonna find the big the big guy down here. Pretty. Yeah, are these the ones that potentially have lithium? Let's see. Copper, right? Like copper and lead. There's a different one. Uh. only have one type of ore plus titanium. Oh, weird. Okay. That's good to know. The vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Warning. Maximum depth reached. All damage imminent. There's something over here, but also monster. Oh. What is that? Is this the vent garden? Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Huh. Oh, it's like a bubble. It's a little terrarium. Huh. Uh. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Let's not go that way. Yeah, I like this music. <gasps> what? Oh, was that a whale? Like a happy guy? Oh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I love it. Buddy? Oh. I just realized I had a nightmare about, um, like thousands of little, like, hairy tendrils. And what I, what I, what I'm realizing now is that I, it was literally, um, if you've ever seen like a humpback whale and like what the inside of their mouth looks like, like what they filter the plankton with, that's what I was dreaming of. Ugh. I don't know why I like this game so much because the undersea, undersea creatures actually terrify me. Um, it doesn't make any sense. 
Oh, you can ride it? Okay. Uh, let's try it. Wow, this is a really interesting area. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, cool. You can't control it though, right? <laughs> oh, it's very pretty though. I'm gonna forget where I parked. <laughs> um, the base is over there. Okay, so this is actually kind of where I wanted to. To ooh, I think I need a more typical right now. Well, this seems like a nice, peaceful zone. Oh, what is this? Huh. Interesting. Oh, oh no, I hate its mouth. Warning. Maximum depth reached. I hate Call it. Damage imminent. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Hmm. I should go up here to the surface and see what's going on. Whoa. Can you build on these, like, lily pads? I wonder? Oh. Oh. You can't make it up there. Boo. Well, maybe... Oh, you can. Okay. Oh man, <laughs> you can totally build on the lily pad. All right, I'm doing it. Let's do it. Okay, so glitchy. Um, let's go like. Well, actually, if we need to get up on the small ones, then I guess we'll do our our entrance like there. Is it good? Hmm. Hmm. It's very mild. We got like uh, 20 persimmons in our CSA delivery, so we need to eat all these persimmons. I don't know that I've ever had a persimmon until now. Eh, maybe I have. All right. Building a base on this lily pad. Excellent. Mm hmm. Thanks, potato. Oh, thanks, potato. Hi. Okay, bye. I guess I should put a beacon where I'm building this base, but I don't have the class for the stupid uh, hatch, so I'm going to come back. Oh, I already lost it. Where is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, potato, I will. Um, yes, there we go. All right. Oh, jeez. Is thunder, or I mean lightning, is lightning going to be an issue? I think it might be. Oh, lightning's just cosmetic? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Um...
Did that work? Yep, okay. Uh, yeah, I see if I find some quartz. I don't know if there's any around here or if I need to head back. There we go. I feel like these whales are protecting my base. I'm gonna go with. I should probably put the beacon on the lily pad that I need to hit to enter. I'm gonna move it to this thing. It's kind of annoying that they don't just make the, the big pad climbable. This little tightrope thing, but. Oh boy. Oh geez. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, yeah. have any like <laughs> room components dude all right uh well mm, yeah cool <laughs> let's go in this awesome base here it is emergency <laughs> power only oh i should Oxygen put some solar panel. oh i need more quartz for that Offline. okay um Well, let's do this anyway. Finally, a device that can put to good use those rechargeables lost to the back of the catch all draw. Oh, okay, you can build something that connects to, to water? Alright, good. Oh, it's really cool that their tails breach. Maybe not so much through the uh lily pads, but it's cool that that happens. Okay. I need to remember not to put this on the surface. It's a little hard to get into. Okay. I need more quartz. I guess I'll just kind of go back. I mean, at the very least, I can charge my batteries now, which is pretty useful. I can find all the quartz I need here. Yeah, it feels like the resources in this area are at least a little more on the rare side. I haven't found any lithium Launching. though. Parsing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. A cool little spot, but nothing here it seems. Yeah, having multiple paces is definitely a good thing in this game. I like to have the one, like, good home base, but I might end up making that on the big island. Once I, uh, start to explore it. Half-loaf! 
thought I'd give you the norm entrance today, Havlo. Uh, let's see. Big dumb base. Might find some quartz here. Almost like they knew I would need quartz right now. Um, where's that chomping coming from? Oh! <laughs> I think we were chasing each other's tails. Um, ooh, that's annoying, half -loaf. My parents had to do that recently. They went to the DMV, I guess, technically. Um, oh, I don't have any copper on me? Ugh, oh, the worst. All right, I'm just going to go back to the temporary base and uh, bring some stuff here. I should repair as well. Um, you can do it by mail as a re-up broccoli, but, um, like my parents just moved to California and at that point you have to go in to get new stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think it's like, what, every 10 years you have to go in or something like that? Amateur is almost going to the wall locker. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to bring some stuff from old base. Uh, kind of a dangerous uh, panel here. Oh, thanks, Brian. It. Yeah, they always do a pretty good job. Uh, the um, hand and body animations in these games. I mean, some of them are a little goofy, but generally speaking, they at least have... Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, I don't need that creature. Egg. This. Maybe... Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was a cool moment. That was a very cool moment. I guess this this purple thermal spot here is a uh, lithium zone. Wish I had a beacon to put on it. Ooh, ooh! I hate it. No. Oh, oh. Is that because I'm scanning it, or is that just doing that? I think that was because I was scanning it. Okay, it just sort of jumps. I thought maybe it had, like, bioluminescence. Um, I'm surprised they don't do more. So I guess the original had some bioluminescent creatures, but... I'm sure it had things that are as weird as actual Earth. 
glowy, glowy creatures. base here. I know some people play this game in VR and I can't imagine doing that. You turn around so fast, so often. It just feels like it would be Barf City. I guess in the vehicle it would be okay. need the uh, I think for the depth upgrade I needed plasteel and enamel glass right hmm right okay so if I just make a an ingot now um, get that plasteel <laughs> um, sure Yato <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, I need diamond for the enamel glass. Okay. For a minute. Um, darn. Alright, well I need to get some copper. Maybe I came back here for no reason. I might have some stuff. Really? Ribbons in there, which is fine, but I don't really need them currently. Okay, uh, shoot. Hmm, what to do? I guess I need to find diamond for the death upgrade and then copper to charge the batteries. Oh man, yeah. I don't know about that, Yato. I mean, I even get a little nauseous just using the TV. Um, so adding VR would probably be a bit much. I guess this is just a sea truck fragment, but yeah. Warning, parsing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah. PDA. Does the valve index still cost like a thousand dollars? Is that is that still real? I think it is. Wow, this is a lot of table coral. I'm gonna grab it because it's so rare. on this thing? I guess not by default. Oh, okay, um, that's good to know. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't seen any yet. I'll like skim the lower zones here as I look for uh, copper. Oop, there's something. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, 
Yeah, gosh, that's tough to justify. Got to. Uh, for copper, there we go. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, all right. I guess I got two more. Oh. Let's move on. <laughs> Definitely have too much table coral here. Uh... Ooh, interesting little zone. I just parked this sucker right here. Warning. Parsing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Hmm. Oh. Is this something I can scan? Architect artifact. Mineral distillery. Is that gold? Oh, I think I might be going for the wrong nodes. I don't know that I know what copper is anymore. I think I just picked up gold. Yeah, I did. All right. Hmm. That. Oh, it's limestone now? Okay. Ah, huh. all right. Well, that explains why I haven't found it in a while. <laughs> Oh, really, basic? Okay, thanks for telling me that. I think you might be right, actually, now that I recall being eaten by one before. Um, you love. That's enough. Yep, we're good to go. All right. Get the base powered. Thanks for following. Ooh. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. Underground steps here. Ooh. 
technology. Warning, parsing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Um, too much stuff. Lithium around here, I don't know. Ah, aquarium module. Jukebox disc. That's nice. Didn't notice what percentage I'm along on that uh, blueprint. Let's see. One third. Okay. Hey, just live. How are you doing? I guess in the original game, diamonds just look like diamonds. They don't have like a rocky shell or anything. I would imagine that's also the case here. Man, Cord, are you still here? I, I'm. <laughs> I, I really like riding uh, this bicycle that Janelle got um, and doing this wacky virtual training video game thing, but, um, and I really enjoy just, like, the feeling of a long bike ride, but, uh, I'm noticing, like, some really strange, like, after effects. My throat gets really sore after riding the bike for a long time. I'm curious, Cord, I know Cord has done a lot of bike riding. I'm curious if you've run into that. Like, yesterday after I rode my bike, um, I, uh, I was like having some crackers and I was like having a hard time swallowing them. Offline. Yeah, basic. I know. This is another reason why Apple was suggesting that I change my streaming setup. Um, basically, he was suggesting doing like this and having my face like here. Um, which I don't know how people, uh, if people have an opinion on that or not. I'd be curious if anybody does. And having like a little, like, obviously like a border with some more information and overlays and things that would kind of go around the edge of the stream. Air quality. Might need to hydrate more? Okay, yeah. It's probably dehydration, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That was inside, so I don't think it's air quality. Uh, what the heck's going on here? Why can't I... Sure. I'll move it later. Power restored. All primary Welcome systems aboard, will be right. captain. Okay. Uh, what else can I build here? Can I build storage? Yes. Um, mm, I should have brought fabricating stuff too, but... Um, not particularly spooky yet, Just Live, but, uh, I mean, there definitely are big, scary creatures. Um, let's actually just swap out some of this. Well, that one's fine. 
Um, okay. Nice. Cool base, the coolest. Just living in the uh, lap of luxury here. Um, I do think this will be cool though if I can get some windows and things and. Yeah, Fabricator, I need more copper and I need uh, another quartz. Feels like resources are a little bit harder to come by in this one. Um, I feel like I never struggled with the basics in uh, the first one. I do want like an underwater section for it. Maybe I'll... Um, yeah, I have an observatory above, and then take the uh, take the second hallway and drive it underground or under underwater. And it's looking kind of stormy. Warning: maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. This is uh, great that the one day that I have a thing to do driving downtown, I'm gonna have a rainstorm. It's really rare as it is. Okay, ooh. What? Warning. Parsing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What is this? Should I just use this base? <laughs> it seems like it's Warning. pretty good. Oh, I guess it's totally ruined. Okay, well, I can at least scan things and get the... No? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Multi-purpose last element. Like... How can I not scan this, though? Your blueprint synthesized. Uh. air and we'll go inside yeah maybe I have to scan from the inside we will see Oops, I didn't get all my air ooh those charge fins oh, I always use the sea glide so of limited use. Water filtration. Aromatherapy lamp. New blueprints. Very important. Okay, I need to go back for air now. Blueprint synthesized. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. We can scan these rooms. We won't be able to, though. Uh. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency yeah, greatly no. decreased. Probably not. Weird. This lab looks like it was intentionally sabotaged. Okay, well I got the nuclear reactor, but new I guess that's the nuclear reactor nice. room, which is why I can't scan the room itself, because the, the room is just predicated upon the reactor tech. So. New 
your blueprints One need. Inside. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, really, Anne? Okay. Hmm. See what else we can get. I don't know. Maybe not much. Danielle's bed. New blueprint synthesized. This is story stuff. This is lore. Oh, cool. I thought maybe you could place name plates, but I guess. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I have scanned Morning. most of this meters. stuff. I'll do a last little sweep here. Um. Oh. Bulkhead. Counter. New blueprint synthesized. Shells. This stuff seems very functional, but I'll take it, I guess. New blueprints in the side. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Around the exterior here. Look like it, I guess, but what? Oh, I'm just clipping through the ceiling. Okay, I guess that's it. All right, I was hoping for more like room blueprints, but. I guess because it's destroyed, I can't get the blueprint. <laughs> Fair enough. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Enamel glass. Okay, I'm gonna have to find some diamonds. Ooh, control room. That seems cool. I can make that. Uh, I just need more tight. I need everything. Oh, I have it in the thing, probably. Wait. Welcome aboard, Captain. What else was it? Advanced wiring kit and glass. 
Uh, oh, I don't have a fabricator here. <laughs> That's more of an issue. Um, okay. Upper and quartz. All right. Well, I just need to collect some stuff. But I think I'm going to have to call it um, for today because uh, I have to go pick up our cocktails for our anniversary. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm glad I uh, glad I got to say hi to everybody before the start of the weekend here. Um, I didn't, uh, whoops, I didn't see, let's see, let's go to the Discord here. I don't know. Um, what we're going to do for multiplayer Saturday tomorrow. I'm probably going to be moving pretty slow. <laughs> uh, it looks like Phasmophobia won this week. So um, if you are a big baby and want to play Phasmophobia tomorrow at 2, uh, get ready for that. I will ping the channel again. Um, but uh, until then, uh, have a great um, rest of your, your day, everybody. I, there's a chance I'll stream a little bit later, but I, I don't know. I'm pretty tired. It's going to just depend on whether I catch a second win or I need a nap. <laughs> if I need that nap, uh, I won't be back. But if I'm okay, uh, I might stream a little bit later. Um, if not, though, have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for uh, Phasmophobia. And, uh, yeah. Bye. Take care. Stay safe. See you later. Hour two and a half, and I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. No! <laughs> I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Get over the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, shit. Oh! Please join us for, um... Nope, nope. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> the hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh no, the engine's too big. <laughs> join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket-propelled grenade. Oh no, no, <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend, Janelle. I live on the edge. No. I live on the edge. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner, Janelle. Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my god, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, th this part's not going to be used. Ready for the knowledge. <laughs> Hi. This is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures, and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's how. <laughs> you piece of shit! Wait.
too big. I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, this is, this is a much better size for my face. <laughs> this should be censored. 